Now let's move on to the sinusoidal carrier, where C of t is equal to cosine of omega c t plus theta c. Again, we will let theta c equal zero for simplicity. In this case, y of t equals x of t times cosine of omega c t. By the, by the multiplication property seen in the Fourier transform table, y of omega is equal to one over two pi times the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of x of omega times c of omega minus theta d theta. When c of t is a complex exponential, then c of omega is equal to pi times the quantity delta of omega minus omega c plus delta omega plus omega c. Then y of omega is equal to one half of quantity x of omega minus omega c plus x of omega plus omega c. Again, visualizing the transformation. At the top, we have x of omega, which is simply the Fourier transform of x of t. The second plot shows c of omega, which is the Fourier transform of the carrier function c of t. c of omega is equal to pi times quantity delta of omega minus omega c plus delta, delta of omega plus omega c. Notice that this is two shifted delta functions with amplitude pi. The convolution of these two using again the sifting property yields y of omega where y of omega is equal to one half times quantity x of omega minus omega c plus x of omega plus omega c. Notice that y of omega contains two x of omegas with one half amplitude. Both of these shifted one to omega c and one to negative omega c. With the illustration, it is easy to see why omega c must be greater than omega m to fully recover x of t. If omega c were smaller than omega m, then the two smaller signals would overlap. Notice on the right that x of omega goes from negative omega m to positive omega m. The carrier signal c of omega is two delta functions, one at omega c and one at negative omega c. The magnitude of omega c is smaller than the magnitude of omega m. In this case, y of omega yields two shifted x of omegas at one half the magnitude. However, the tails of these two x of omegas overlap in the center, yielding a new y of omega. Therefore, x of t is unobtainable. This concludes the tutorial.